Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Mary and today I have been looking so much forward to this day because it's spa day, yo. It's home zero waste sustainable spa day, but spa day nonetheless. And uh, I have put a little dot in my calendar for today because today I have nothing else to do but pamper myself and I am so ready for that. It's just... I have been so busy, I just came home from Copenhagen yesterday and I don't know about you, but sitting five hours in a train makes you feel a little bit gross. So, today, it's bother yo. But before we get started, this video is sponsored. This video is sponsored by Leaf Shave. I have been a partner of Leaf Shave for a really long time. I have tried both their standard Leaf Shave razor and their twig Leaf Shave razor. It is my favorite zero waste sustainable plastic free shaving brand and they just launched a new product that I am so excited to try in this video. It is that Derma Planner. I've seen people use Derma Planners on TikTok throughout the last few months and I am so intrigued by it. It exfoliates your skin, it removes like dead skin cells and peach fuzz and I am just so excited to try this out myself. And luckily, Leaf Shave made a Derma Planner completely plastic free, also zero waste, where you can use the same safety razor blades as you use in your normal safety razors. I think it is so smart. I am so ready to try it and i will leave all the information if you want to try this out yourself down below so you can go and find out more thank you so much to leave shape for sponsoring this video now let's get into the pampering I'm starting my spa day off with a shower. It's my favorite way to start this out. It's also the only thing I think makes sense. So in my shower, I don't use a lot of products. I try to keep everything very minimal. Everything is also minimally packaged. So I have my solid shampoo, then I have a solid soap bar, and then I have my leaf shaver. And that's everything I need in my shower. And I start by rinsing my hair and then using my shampoo and then I move on to using my shaver. I often, especially when it comes to shaving my legs, I actually go out of the shower and I sit down next to my sink and then I do it there instead simply because I think it's easier but also because I have a fear of falling in the shower and dying. I don't want that. Now I don't feel like I have to shave and I don't shave very often but I think it's so satisfying whenever I do. It's one of those rituals like putting on makeup for instance that can make me feel a lot better in my own skin and it's something that I do as a little bit of a luxury. I also try to make my bathroom and my shower time a little bit extra luxurious. I put off some eucalyptus leaves, I put on some nice music and I just vibe. You can also light a candle, I think that's also really just add to the ambiance. I don't know. It's so nice though. It's one of the candles from Zero Waste Puff. A shower was absolutely the best way to start this out. I am so refreshed. But we're gonna moisturize now and for that I have my homemade body butter. Still use it constantly. It's so nice. So I scrape out something with my finger and just warm it up between my hands. It feels so nice. Mm. Okay, also just for good measure. The deodorant I'm using is from Wild. It's the lavender one. I um, really love the container. I've been wanting a day like this forever. I've really tried to schedule a specific self-care spa day and I'm so relieved that it's today. I've had so much on my plate and I'm just ready to just completely relax and yeah. This, sometimes you really, really need to do this. And you don't have to spend an entire day. Also, I'm not going to spend an entire day. That would be wild. But simply just taking a couple of hours out of your calendar, out of your busy life, to just completely rewind and do all the things that you want to do. And for me, sometimes that, that involves a bigger, more elaborate beauty routine. So just everything from shaving to face care, taking care of my nails, taking care of my hair, putting on face masks, all this stuff um, that I kind of want to do more in daily life, but there's simply no time to do it. 
Um, so taking a couple of hours out of my calendar to do it once in a while just feels like such a luxury. Still wearing my towel, but we are in my normal filming spot and I am going to try the Leaf Shave Derma Planner. And I haven't tried it before, I'm actually pretty excited. So first of all, I have a damp cloth. I'm just gonna wet my face a little bit. Then I have the Leaf Shave Moisturizing Oil. You can use this both before and after using the Derma Planner. And there's no scent in it, by the way. Um, also, of course, it's vegan and it's it has this very neutral quality to it, but it feels it feels really great. Woo! So I just put the Derma Planner together. It was really, really easy. So honestly, I can just take it apart now and show you how I did it. I take the precision clip off. This is meant to only expose a small part of the blade. And this is really handy when you're Derma Planning your eyebrows. Taking that off. Then the little opening closing butterfly mechanism, which is honestly so elegant and delightful. And inside here, we have the blade. Pop that right out. If I can see what I'm doing. Boom. Popping the blade out. And that's it. This little blade guard makes sure that only a small bit of the blade is exposed. So you won't cut yourself. And I've heard so many good things about using it for exfoliation. Um, I've seen tons of people do this on TikTok and I've just been really curious about what it's about. So I'm very happy I get to have the experience. Honestly, this is incredibly soothing. The idea of using a razor on my face is a little bit intimidating. I, I remember I did it once just with a straight razor uh, or like a disposable razor, I think, uh, back when I was in sixth grade or something and I took off the majority of my eyebrows. I was horrified and I haven't done anything shaving wise on my face since because I'm just terrified. Um, however, you won't run the risk of doing that with the Derma Planner, which I think is great. And I've been looking forward to getting more into it and trying it because if I don't do anything to my eyebrows, they will grow together and they will also grow down on my eyelids. They are everywhere. And I would like to be able to have options when it comes to how big they are. All this fluff that comes off your face, so satisfying. I can feel that this Derma Planner is going to be a essential part of my spa routine going forward. Just adding some oil once again. I definitely think this is going to be an essential part of my sort of spa routine, self-care, treat yourself day. It feels really, really satisfying. Sort of like, you know, the same feeling when you've shaved your legs and they're all smooth-like and it's just really satisfying, which is a personal favorite of mine as well. But this is sort of, this has a similar energy and I love to get like really nice and tight eyebrows. Um, so I don't necessarily pluck them a whole lot and especially down here, I try not to. Um, but like shaping them up here is so satisfying. I think it looks really put together. Um, and I wouldn't achieve that any other way than using sort of a device like a Derma Planner. I have a feeling that now that I've taken off sort of the peach first, my skin is a lot less textured and that will make my makeup go on a lot nicer as well. Hello again, basically same location. We have some ingredients here and we are going to make a face mask using like basically everyday ingredients. So we have cooked oats, we have banana, a little bit of lemon and a little bit of cinnamon. We're gonna mash that all together and then uh, we're gonna put it on our faces and we're gonna feel great about it. Yeah, how much banana? Uh, One banana? Two banani? Two bananis. something to me and not in a great way. <laughs> Vanya is not incredibly impressed by how I open bananas it seems. I have bananas and I'm just gonna smash them with a fork. Um, as ripe as they can be it's, it should be good. Oh, We're just gonna take all our oats and mix them with the banana. This feels a lot like something I would make for breakfast. Face mask is good for your skin because of the vitamin A in bananas, which promotes skin cell turnover, while the oats gently soothe irritation. 
And cinnamon is a strong antioxidant and has been shown to promote collagen production. It is also rather spicy, so it will help with circulation. Just don't get it close to your eyes. Perfect. We're going to add the lemon juice and a, a wee bit of cinnamon. This just smells like the pancakes I make in the morning. Just the normal pancakes. But if you wouldn't put it inside your body, where wouldn't you put it on your body? Oh! Bars. I think we have ourselves a mask. It's good. Do you maybe like want a towel or something around your neck? <laughs> well, you're getting all like <laughs> face campaigns from now on, aren't you? <laughs> ah, she's a beauty. She is beauty. She is grace. She she's has, also zero waste. She has cake on her face. <laughs> I mean, this feels really nice. However, every time I put on any sort of face mask, I never feel relaxed until afterwards when it's off. Yes. Right? Is, the, is, is that how you do them? An important part of the spa day is, of course, also the food. We got takeout. This is a poke tofu bowl and it is so good. It has this peanut sauce on it and I am in heaven. My tofu poke bowl comes in a container like this and it is a disposable container but I actually like to keep them for a while and use them to store leftovers in the fridge. They work really well for that. So we're gonna save it as long as we can. I had the face mask on for a solid 10 to 15 minutes and then I rinsed it all off and put on my makeup. This was something I was looking so much forward to and it's sort of my last step in my spa day journey, question mark, putting on my makeup and just feeling ready. I eventually have to get out of this t-shirt but today is not the day baby. So nice face of makeup, I'm so refreshed and I'm so happy and so relaxed and it's just like incredible overall. I also got my takeout and I am just so happy. I really recommend taking a home spa day whenever you have the time to do that. Let me know what your preferred actions or like self-care treatments look like. Let me, let me know what you do to feel relaxed and to sort of get into it. And with that, that was it for this video. Thank you so much to Leave Shave for sponsoring this video. Again, find all their information about their new products as well as their old products down below. I really recommend them. They are my favorite shaving zero waste company. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up or you can also subscribe to my channel. That would make my day. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!